Hello, my name is John Rowe, and this is my Art 205, Introduction to the History of Western Art, Major Assignment. I chose to do my assignment on an acrylic painting titled, A Home Divided, by Judith R. Ginsburg. The painting is on display as part of the Expressions West 2017 in the Mabel Hansen Gallery at the Coos Art Museum. For this assignment, I'm going to follow the art historical interpretive strategy to interpret the painting. My first general impressions of this acrylic painting are that it's dark and forbidding. The moons don't shed very much light. The overall image has a texture with imperfections and irregularities. I also notice that there's a girl trapped in a mason jar, and the jar is split into two pieces, and the world around it seems dormant. Every child's drawing of a house basically looks the same, with a tree with green leaves on the side, a sun in the top corner in a rectangle with a triangle for a roof. This image is really similar to a child's drawing with the house that's a rectangle with a triangle except that the trees do not have leaves and instead of a sun there's a moon. I also noticed that the tree on the right side of the image is elevated which implies that it's supposed to be in the background. That's the only perspective that I noticed in the image. The part that stands out the most to me is the childlike script at the bottom of the image. It reads, I love my mommy, but when I'm with mommy, I miss my daddy. I heart my daddy, but when I'm with daddy, I miss mommy. Signed, Lily, age five. The girl trapped inside the mason jar is just an outline and almost looks like a rubber stamp. This could imply that she keeps her feelings bottled up inside of her and doesn't reveal her true self. I think that the meaning of the image is to depict the life of a child whose parents are divorced or separated and do not live together. There are two parts to everything in the image except for the girl in her jar. The house is cut in two, there's two trees, and there's two moons. I take that the meaning of the two parts of everything are to show the two parts of the girl's life, one part with her father and one part with her mother. The image is dark and the trees don't have leaves. I think that the dark and grimness of the image shows the girl's feelings. She's sad because she's never happy. She always misses one of her parents. Leaves, grass, and sunshine would imply living and vitality. The lack of all these features imply that the girl in the jar's life is almost dormant. Before starting this class, I thought art was just a decoration. Now, I understand the many purposes art has, like recording history and showing deep meaning. This piece is a perfect example of how an artist can use their work to portray their thoughts and beliefs about a topic.